Hi, QDC has a very robust and extensive user management module because it is used by a single store which has maybe a one or two employees or is used by an enterprise which has more than 100 employees into different categories, roles and titles. Before we actually dig deep into how to manage different roles and permission, let us understand some of the basics. So what is a user? A user is an actual person who needs to log in into the system. Someone who may be creating orders, someone who may be printing barcoded tags or who is doing accounting or daily bookkeeping, maybe delivering garments at customer doorstep, maybe the IT guy or maybe the store manager or the business owner himself. These are the actual person who need to log in into the system. Now let's understand another concept, role. What is a role? A role is a virtual grouping of users. It's a collection, group, title, you can call it anything. Let's understand an example, POS operator. So anyone who operates your software is a POS operator, a franchisee owner, maybe an accountant, workshop operator or a store manager or a call someone from the call center team. All these are different example of roles. Now let's understand what is a permission. A permission is an authorization to perform an action. Now the important point to remember here are permissions are always assigned to a role, never to a user. Now, there are two type of permissions in QDC. One is a screen level or a module level permission. A permission by which a user can access a section of a software. For an example, take order reports. Someone, if someone has order report permission, he will be able to see order details. Now, the second type of permission is extra or special permission. These provide finer controls. Let's say someone has screen level permission for order reports, but there may be certain controls on order report or a particular screen in a form of buttons or maybe links. Now these special permissions can be controlled by using extra permissions. Now let's understand the relationship between role user and a permission. So a user, is an actual user, maybe a POS operator, someone with the, who is the franchisee owner or anyone who actually needs to log in. Now, all these users are grouped into a role. Now, the permissions are assigned to a role, not to the user. Now, there are two types of permission, screen or a special or finer control. This is how the user management is done in QDC. Thank you. I hope it is clear to you.